Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Affinity Photo and in particular the wonderful cloud tool. Maybe not the world's greatest name for a tool since it confuses obviously search engines. No. Nope. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, just quickly remove that and just start from completely fresh design. So where's the cloud tool? Well the cloud tool can be found over here in the toolbar and you can find it down here, cloud tool. So there's the cloud tool. Now if you can't find it there, I would suggest go to view and customize tools so you can actually see it then. It should be in there and then be able to drag it into your toolbar. So what does it create? What's the design? There's the design. If you hold down the shift when you create it, it's nice and proportional as well. That really helps. But of course you can just modify it. You can squeeze it. You can shear it. You can do all kinds of different designs as well. And you'll notice it's still a cloud design. I'm just going to put that back to what it was. You can see over here in layers. And if you can't find layers, it's view and studio and layers. Well, you can modify this as well. You've got options here for these bubbles. See these bubbles around here. Not so much called bubbles. I suppose it's as good as anything. They sort of look like a bubble. So what you can do, you can modify the bubble. How unfortunately it's not interactive here. So you can't, there's no control to modify it on the actual shape itself. Then you can increase the size. Now you'll notice you can actually go up here. It lets you, yep. Then you can put 200 or more. So you can make it a lot more intense. You can also modify the inner radius. So you can just, and that is available on the, the actual shape itself. So you can use that, just modify that. Now I'm just going to reduce it a bit because that's a bit extreme. So like that. And you can continue to modify. So you can see you can create all kinds of lovely designs. Very subtle there, but maybe more intense, sort of starburst design. And you can still, of course, continue to modify that if you wish. So you can go for just a four design there or more. Let's just so it's more visible, that design there. What you can also do, you can duplicate design. So if you duplicate it, hold down the Alter Option key, that's on the keyboard. With that duplicated, now I can center that. So very quickly select both the shapes and then center it. And you can see over here, you've got two clouds now. Of course, you can change the color. What you can do, you can go over here, click there, maybe make it blue, orange, and so on, so on. You can also, if you want, Go back to the cloud tool again. You can add a stroke, so you can go maybe add a width there. You can also add a dash value, so if you want dashes there. Personally, I'm not really a keen fan of those, but it's still available if you want. There's also an option here for the brush, so you can go to the brush there, and you can go maybe change the pressure, and you can create a variety of different designs simply by changing that. And I'm just going to increase the width size so you can see it a bit better. You've got your profile there, and you can save the profile as well. So you can create a variety of different designs using that. What you can also do, you can, with both those selected, again, both selected there, you can go to Layer, and you can go to a Geometry, and maybe go for Subtract. So now you can see, however, once you've done that, it, go, it turns into a curve. You can't modify it using the standard tool over here with the brushes. And of course, you can use other shapes, so you don't have to have that. Like that you can also still, of course, with the cloud tool, you can still interactively change that. So you can see you can create a variety of different designs and also the number of bubbles are there. Like that. So I'm just going to remove that and I'm just going to go to another tool. Yeah, let's just go for I don't want that one wanted the ellipse. Just go for the ellipse. So you can create a quick ellipse there and do exactly the same as before. So what you can do, just go to a layer. And you go down to geometry and subtract. So you can see you can create a design there. Now what you can also do, the cloud tool, let's just go to the cloud tool there. You can now rasterize it. You can turn it into a pattern layer as well. That's perfectly reasonable as well. So you can just go to a layer and then down to a rasterize. Now rasterize, if you're going to use filters, you have to use filters with rasterize. Unfortunately, as soon as you apply filters, it will just turn it into a rasterized design. So I've just done it for it. And you can then go to filters and distort and maybe deform. Add some pins and then distort the design like that. So you can create a whole variety of different designs, just distorting maybe one outside. So you can squeeze it there. 
and you also, if you want, similarity. So there's a variety of designs you can do with that. But what you can also do, now it's a pixel layer, see that's the key thing, pixel layer. What you can do, you can go to a layer, and you can go to a new pattern layer from selection. With that, we can see you've got patterns now. You can see your design there. I'm just gonna remove that so you can see the design. And what you can do, let's put the move tool there, you can, oh, using that one instead. I wonder why it wasn't changing it. You have to select the pattern layer. If you don't select the pattern layer and the move tool, nothing will happen. If you're using this one, that's probably always best just to get rid of it. I must admit, times I do that where I'm working on with, still trying to do with one that, ridiculous. However, it's always useful that it stays actually, but I'm just gonna remove it for convenience there. And you can see the design there, and you can share it. So you can see, create designs, you can rotate it. And also we can do filters and distort, maybe like deform again. You can go and apply some pins there and distort it that way. So you can modify. Now you'll notice what happens here, you get this. Now I don't want that. Work away around that, go to the move tool, go up here to the top, there's mirror. Mirror, that's so much nicer. Because once you've got mirror, what you can do, you can now go to filters and distort, and you could use mirror as well, or any of the others. You can go to deform, select some points there, and you can distort it, and now you'll see it will just blend into one. So you can just sort of, and also if you want, let's just go to the move tool there. You can, now obviously applied that. You don't have to, of course. I'm just gonna, just wanted to reduce it so you could see the design a bit better. Again, another one as well, filter, distort, maybe use mirror instead. You don't have to use deform, of course. And you can see the design you can create there. Input. And you can manipulate, obviously, the design and create all kinds of mirrored designs like that. And again, that's the key thing by just setting the mirror option. If you don't, you end up with these sort of edges to it, which is not so great. You can see the pattern there. So I'm just gonna remove that. What you can also do, of course, you can just simply add the design and then you can always go over here and you can always add additional designs to it. You don't have to have it, keep it as is. So you can always just make that red and so on and so on. And also, what you can do, just gonna remove that. You can go over and convert it to curves. There's an option here, convert to curves. So convert to curves. Now, of course, as soon as you do that, you'll notice it's gonna become a curve over here. But what you can then do, of course, is you can go over to the node tool. So with the node tool there, and you can see the points are accessible there. They're not accessible beforehand, so you have to convert it to a curve, and you can modify the design like that. So you can create a whole variety of different designs very quick and easy using that. Oh, let's just, just gonna go back to the tool again, cloud tool, and you can apply that. And what you can also do, you've got fill, you can go for maybe a gradient. Uh, let's just go for the gradient there. You can see now using the gradient here, the gradient tool, I've added a quick gradient. And the thing is with gradients, of course, what you can do, you can always go to here and you've got solid elliptical. So if you want to, you can have elliptical design. See that? You can also go to conical. I must admit, radial and elliptical look much the same. You just see tweak it slightly different. You can see there. And also you've got the option for bitmap. And of course you could also modify the gradient if you want. You can select a different, and I haven't got one here particularly, let's see if I can select a, if it lets me select a file. Oh, probably not. I oh, have some files here. So just select a file, JPEG file, and you can see the design there. You can see that there. So you can fill your sort of cloud design with that. And it's still, of course, go over here, it's still editable. So you can still modify this design. So you can just focus in on there, move that around. And if you want to, of course, you can always, again, modify the tool. Just go again over to the gradient and you can move it around. And if you don't want bitmap, of course, you can always go to linear or elliptical. Whole variety of different designs can be created using that. And you can see just there. And of course you can duplicate that design, fill the entire screen 
with your amazing starburst designs. Very quick and easy. Well, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Photoshop, Illustrator, and many, many other applications. Also, if you've got any questions, things I've done wrong, and always after I've done these videos, quite often I think, oh, I should have done that, or I should have shown this feature. My apologies if I've missed anything out running through this. Obviously, there's loads of different things you can do in Finti Photo, so I'm certain I've missed something. So, also, a dislike or like, always appreciated as well. Thank you much.